Hello there, this is Space Runner 5. Welcome back to episode 5 of Cards, where today I went ahead and created a new deck. Obviously, by the name, it is Britain and Germany. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click through here real quick so you guys can pause the video on each page and see what all the cards are inside the deck if you guys want to. But So the premise of this deck is pretty much uh, stalling pretty for the most part. It's survive the early game if they're rushing, and then go ahead and just destroy them in the late game um, with all the uh, powerful German tanks and with the, uh, the British Churchill. All right. Oh, well, we already found an enemy. I was going to go ahead and give a cut, but uh, that was a really quick uh, load time. Normally it's a minute or two, and I have to wait. Let's see, we are fighting a Japanese player. So Japan's very good at rushing if it's a Japanese... So oh, wow. So, yeah, here's all of our big hitters. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these three units. I'm not a huge fan of going first. Wow. <laughs> this is not a great first hand. Well, if we get a, uh, a cheap British unit that has guard, okay. So we got our got our guard guy that we can fly all of our uh, one threes to. Just make him super buff. And then we have some some German soldiers to, just to back him up, I guess. Um, definitely did not draw <laughs> <laughs> the ideal cards, but this does allow us to defend pretty easily in the early game, so we can probably stagnate quite a bit. Or I guess not stagnate, I was just delay until we can pull out like a, a tiger tank. Um, which we would have to wait at least six turns in order to afford. We do have quite a bit of card draw too. Is our player and or our opponent actually there? Let's go ahead and bang him, see if he says anything. Hello? You there? He highlighted my capital. I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, he, he's there. He's moving his cards. The only reason I can tell is because the cards are uh, being lifted up. Oh, is that my turn that I was waiting? Oh. <laughs> now I just feel silly. <laughs> Alrighty. Go ahead and drop a 3 6 and end our turn. <laughs> <laughs> I feel silly now. That's cool. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> so we're going to trade the 3 6 for the 2 2. It's going to get additional 2 cards. Not a big deal. If he doesn't play any, he'll have to discard because I think 7 is your max hand size. Alright, 2 2 with Fury. Same thing. Give all ground units on the front line plus one defense. We actually want to save that for a while. Go ahead and buff this guy. Want to do it twice? Yeah, we can do it twice. We'll just make them super thick. And we'll go ahead and take the front line with that unit. So he will be stuck to having four units. So we can actually invade a little bit. Gonna move the three, four forward and then maybe drop down the. Uh, the one three you have. When it, oh, when it takes damage, draw a card. Okay. Do a little trade action. So this guy is actually going to be able to sweep quite a few. March you forward. Uh, do I want to wait for the Church Hill? Let's see what happens when you die. Two damage to my HQ, that's fine. I'd rather you just have an a full field, actually. Additional 1-1. One, one. I can wait for this guy, though, because they're not going to do enough damage. It's not early enough for them to, like, they can drop a zero, but you can't do damage. It's only three damage. Disconnect a card. I don't have this card. So, it's actually a pretty decent card, especially for a Japanese player. Extra card. Actually, I guess 8 is your maximum hand size. Do more damage to my HQ, that's fine. Not a big deal. I'm just going to start start shooting their, uh, their HQ. 
this guy forward, drop this for extra defense. Or just guy forward. Start peppering down the HQ. I can probably wait another turn. Because this guy's still got quite a bit of HP. He can only do two damage and he probably probably has a blitz unit in his hand somewhere. So Let's see. He's good. He's drawing five more cards than me. Not too big of a deal. Um, we do have card draw in here, just I haven't drawn any. There's the zero. Not a big deal. It's a great card for us to refill our front line. Let's see, three, six. Go ahead and do a bunch of damage to the HQ as well. Drop this guy so that way he gets the benefit of the T. Keep calm and drink. Oh, this isn't the drink. Oh, it is a cup of tea. Keep calm and carry on. Yep. <clears throat> So our unit's got significantly tankier. He can definitely throw a zero in if he wishes. I wasn't going to attack it because it has ambush. We're about ready to fill out the front line too. Eight cards. Okay. I think he's had to throw a couple cards away from his hand. Um, if he doesn't sweep this front line though, this is going to be GG. One damage to all enemies. Attack, attack, attack. Uh, or at least that's the Japanese translation. That is about the only word in Japanese that I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. All friendly units. Yeah, we're definitely going to drop that. <clears throat> I'm go ahead and give a GG if we can. Nope, cannot. Well, I kind of showcase what the, the, the premise of what the... Uh, that this deck is supposed to do. Um, fortunately, uh, they did not have a rushing rushing deck. Extra convoy, so this is the British card draw. It's pretty good. I believe I have a few copies in this deck. I think it's only two or three. But adding another one definitely pretty good because we didn't find any card, card draw there. Oh man, we found another enemy real quick. Wow, this is great having these quick load times. Let's see this time. It's a new opponent, and we are fighting Germans. Alrighty. Alright, you guys are a little too expensive. I definitely want the 1-5. Uh, the and I want to keep the Pioneer in the back for uh, when we go ahead and have the front line, hopefully. And we did start with a Convoy, which is great, because that means we have a turn 3. end our turn, he's probably going to hit us for one if he doesn't drop another uh, probably like a, a Panzer Grenadier. Nope, just another Panzer too. Okay. Maybe not. Okay. Got our British Hunvee, which has multi-attack, or uh, has Fury, so it can attack twice a turn. Let's go ahead and throw it down with guard, so that way it can't just immediately attack us. <clears throat> I don't find the Humvee to be that great. Um, it's nice it can attack twice. Um, it is a cheap unit, and just basically two, do two, two quick hits of damage. Must be pretty good taking these guys out. There's our first resolve. Let's go ahead and draw two cards, though. Extra guard and extra Humvee. I don't think the Humvee's that great. It's gonna, nope, did it damage to the HQ. It's fine with me. So in this deck, we don't actually have any any ability to actually basically put HP back into our HQ. I know that's pretty common in uh, British decks. Uh, we don't have that. So we actually want to put down um, quite a few British units. So we can do uh, keep calm. And drink your tea. It, it says keep calm and carry on, but it's going to be keep calm and drink your tea. <laughs> that will be how that will be stated every time. <laughs> really, it didn't count for uh, the Humvee. Oh no, the Humvee already took two damage. That's right. 
We are very tanky, but we do no damage. Um, so we're looking to break out here. When your enemy deploys a unit, deal 3 damage to it. Uh, that seems fine. It'll probably wipe out or get pretty close to wiping out a unit. A unit with guard, plus 1, plus 3. So we can start doing some more damage. We don't have anything on the front line. Let's go play that. Go ahead and start peppering this guy away. Go ahead. Oh, it's being guarded. Hmm. And you get that when you're on the front line. Fortunately, we have our HQ guarded, and we are very tanky. But I don't think we're tanky enough to survive that. Okay, interesting. Start whittling his way through. Hmm. Got our Churchill. Which is honestly pretty important. So that'll give us damage that we need. Give us guard in our HQ once again. Yeah, no one likes the Churchill. He'll just trade and take damage. Yeah, he's not quite that great. Hmm, interesting. I haven't changed any of this. Nice 5-5. Five, five. So he's got his... Ooh, that guy needs to go. See, what do we, what do we draw? 3-6. I mean, yeah, that's not bad. Interested in getting rid of this guy, honestly. Or at least creating space for us. There we go. We seem to be backed in, or we're definitely backed into a corner, uh, which is not great. Because you're guarded, and we're going to have to throw away a couple guys just to get to this, through this. 6 5 is a little annoying. Especially with the uh, heavy armor. Oof. That hurt too. Because that does the heavy armor does not assist with that. Hmm. I'm thinking this is going to be GG. Because uh, he definitely swarmed us pretty well. It's right there. Definitely trade there, because now we have guard. Drop our Panzer IV. And our Humvee. The Humvee's probably going to die, but that's okay. Because... Can't quite trade here. Um, it's going to survive. But if he hits here, then we can trade on the Panzer Panther A versus the Panzer IV. Okay. Panzer III with Blitz. Pretty potent. Throw down guard once again. Go ahead and slowly trade here. Actually, we can do it twice so we can trade. Perfect. take out the new panzer. Alrighty, we need some card draw. We've managed to sustain a little bit, though we can't quite get rid of the uh, this guy. Yeah, he took no damage. Alrighty, so he's, yeah, he just flooded the board with a bunch of cheap units, courtesy of the Japanese. That was very fortunate of us, being able to do 5 damage to the tank. 1-3. I think I'd rather just take the damage, honestly. Because that's that'll be 5. 8, okay. 
No, yeah, so that's gonna be GG. Uh, give a GG. It's very close though. We managed to uh, stabilize, but we just didn't have any any card draw left. So might look into uh, putting the uh, extra convoy in. Let's see, we got George Cross, 30 units. Um, a British artillery of 2-3 is not bad, though it is a little expensive. Let's go ahead and look at the deck real quick. Convoy. Yeah, we only have two in there right now. I don't think the Humvees are very good, honestly. I haven't even seen the Desert Rat card yet. I'd be interested in more uh, Resolute Defense. Wouldn't be bad. We do need an Artillery. I didn't even see a Monty either. Hmm. How do we want to change this? Nice 2 drop. 2-2. Two, two. It's not bad. Ooh, we cannot actually take that. Well, you have. We have too many uh, German cards. Do we want to swap out a uh, different German? We have our Tiger 1. Um, he's a win condition. Panzer 4s. Nice beefy guys. The Panzer 3 is a nice beefy guy. The 3 6s. Those guys make sense. Extra card draw and a nice little 2 2 body. 1 3, yeah, I want them for uh, buffing our British units when they're on the front line. Hmm. Better keep calm and cup of tea and drink your tea. Let's see. I want the convoy for extra card draw because that is becoming an issue. Give your HQ extra defense. Is that better than a 3 6? I think so. So that means we can sustain a little bit better. Nice 2 3 for a 4 drop. Nice artillery. Let's go ahead and see. So we do have a pretty nice pyramid, which is pretty ideal for a uh, later game, later, later stage play, which is what we're looking for. But we do have a lot of 1 2 drops. Granted, most of our 1 drops are orders. And not units. But we'd have quite a bit of card removal. Which seems fine. National Fire Service. When your HQ is oh, it's just reduced damage. Okay. Not that interested. How many Churchills do we have? Three Churchills? Seem a little high on five drops. Five, six, or let's go ahead and get rid of a Churchill. So we can take another. We can technically take two more German units. Let's see. German artillery might be nice. I'm not super interested in a one-one. Though early game, it would be pretty good um, if we can apply that right off the bat. Just because. Uh, if we could deploy it on turn one, um, whatever they deploy, we could pretty much kill. Unless it's like, oh, well, actually, there's a lot of one threes, and then we're next turn we're just going to get killed. So actually, that's not a very good, good option for us. Suppression could be idea if we actually get the front line. If only tanks plus one this turn. We don't have. We, we do have quite a few tanks, but not that many. I don't think Breakthrough makes sense for us at the moment. Nice 1 3 and triple damage to tanks. I think that'll work. Pack 38. Alright, well, I think that's uh, a good edit, edit for our deck, and I'll go ahead and use that in uh, episode 6. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.